Hello, and welcome to the first battle in our Matcha Madness. Now, before we can start the battle, we need to know which two Matcha are going to be going head-to-head -to -head today. So, you can see in front of me, I have my spreadsheet with all the different Matcha that are going to be taking place in our tournament. I had pre-selected all of the Matcha, which are the most expensive. So, right here, I have the list sorted by price per gram most expensive on down and then I just chopped off the bottom part leaving me with 32. So that leaves me with rows 2 through 33 because number 1 is for my header. So in order to get my tasting order what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to random.org which uses atmospheric noise to generate true randomness. Nothing else about this tournament is going to be highly scientific. Going into each tasting, I'm going to know which two matchas are I'm tasting, uh, so it's not blind or anything like that, but I thought, you know, at least put a little bit of effort into the order for whatever it's worth. So we're going to use true randomness from random.org. I'm just going to paste in that list 2 through 33 for my rows. I'm going to hit randomize. And just like that, it spits out a randomized list for me. So now I can copy this random order. I go to do, 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 copy that. And I go over here to my spreadsheet, make sure I got the first cell selected, and I hit Control V to paste that in. Last step, I just go and sort the sheet A through Z on this column. And now we have our tasting order. So you can see up first, we're going to be doing the Okumidori Matcha from Rishi Tea up against Blend 97 from Breakaway Matcha. So I will get those two matchas and I will see you in the tasting in one moment. And we're back. I have got the two different matcha for our first head to head in the first round of Matcha Madness. We just saw how the order has been determined for the different tastings. So for this first tasting, I also wanted to go over how the actual preparation and tasting itself will go. In my other tea tasting videos, which will be coming shortly, you'll see that I always try and use the manufacturer's recommended brewing method. In this case, I will ignore any of the brewing instructions that a particular matcha may come with and they will all be made using the breakaway matcha technique. This way I can kind of keep it as close to the same between one matcha to the next. So as a refresher that means one gram of matcha sieved into the tumbler then we will take about 30 milliliters give or take of 70 degree celsius water, use our frother to get it all nice and uh, mixed up and then we'll add another 30 milliliters for a total of 60 milliliters and that is the general preparation I will be using for every matcha so I'll be using that breakaway matcha technique. I also wanted to mention that the way I am filming this I will I'll be doing three tournaments basically back to back so I will do one from the current round another one from the current round, so four unique different matchas, and then I will take the winners from those two, whatever round that happens to be, the first round or the third round, and then I will do their battle for the next round, so the second round or the fourth round. So it'll be filmed slightly out of order. So we'll prep the teas, we'll prep both teas, and then get ready for a tasting, and then after I have declared the winner, then I'll read the information about the losing tea. So whatever tea moves on to the next round, we'll save their full details for whenever they happen to fall out of the tournament or if they win the whole thing. So this will keep me from having to repeat the same information about the teas that move forward from one round to the next. The links to both teas will always be present in the description down below though. So I think with all of the methodology and caveats and what to expect out of the way, we can get to brewing and tasting. So I'm gonna do this brewing and then it will be sped up. I'll meet you back here when it's time to taste. All right. We are back now. We have both of our matchas all brewed up and now it's time to start tasting. You can see both of them 
had a very good crema buildup. That breakaway matcha is just does a, a really good job. As long as the underlying matcha is good, you're you're almost always gonna get a nice crema buildup using that method. That's one of the reasons I like it. So this one's starting to deflate a little bit, but a uh, pretty good bubble formation. Smells very mild. Smell just kind of the slightest hint of vegetal, but it actually just smells like very pure water. Maybe some um, baby green peas. Slight sweet greenness. Try the Okumidori. Oh, okay. This one has a stronger smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's definitely stronger. It's kind of got uh, almost a, a cinnamon thing going on. A little bit of spiciness. My first thought was kind of like Christmas baking or something like that. It reminds me a lot of uh, yellow teas that I've had in the past. All right, so that's the quick sniff test, and now let's give it a taste test. Yep, very vibrant green, not like stewed um, spinach. That's a very common one. I don't, it's not quite spinachy. It's a little bit more towards that kind of the sweet side, the more peas. Uh, I try to think of another good green, sweet green vegetable, but uh, my mind's drawn a, a blank right now. But uh, green peas, I, I would say it's a good taste. Very drinkable, very good. I like that one a lot. Okay, so this one has more of the kind of traditional matcha bitterness. It's not overpowering. It's not something that you drink and you go, oh boy, that's, that's bitter. But it definitely has a pronounced bitterness. That kind of cinnamony smell I was getting doesn't really seem to be translating into the taste itself. Maybe just a, just the slightest hint and kind of the aftertaste. That crema though, that's no joke. That's really holding up. The more I drink this one, the more I like it. It definitely has more bitterness than I typically enjoy. I'm not a big lover of bitter flavors in general. So basically that reason alone, I'm gonna pick the, the 97 today to move on to the next round which means that our bracket now looks like this. All right, Breakaway Matcha Blend 97 will be moving into round two. That means that the Matcha Ukimidori from Rishi Tea is getting eliminated. As per the outline at the beginning of the video, let's uh, discuss what we can about this matcha. So this matcha, the Matcha Ukimidori from Rishi Tea, comes in a 30 gram container. It's a very nice container. Uh, good solid uh, black, light blocking black glass. Very sturdy. Uh, has a good seal on the top. Good screw on. And this is again 30 gram worth of matcha. You're getting that for $35. This is a US based company out of Minneapolis if my memory serves. So that is 35 US dollars uh, giving you a price per gram of about $1.17. This was picked between May and June of 2018 and milled on September 18th 2018. Very specific on the season for this one. The cultivar, uh, this is a single cultivar so it's the Okumidori. A lot of matchas are blended. There's nothing bad about a blended matcha. The tea master will often try and find certain elements from one type of cultivar and marry that with another cultivar to create a harmonious blend. And as you just saw, our blend 97, which is obviously a blend, has moved on to round two. So just because it's a single cultivar doesn't necessarily make it any better or worse, but this is a single cultivar, single estate matcha. All the information about the different matcha is gonna come directly from the website. So whatever it says on the website, that's all the information I can give you. I'm not doing any more digging, just whatever they wanna pre present to the buying public, that's what I'm gonna pass on here. So for the description, uh, Rishi T has listed the single cultivar matcha highlights the resonant umami that makes the Okumodori cultivar so prized for sencha, gyokuru, and matcha green teas. And then also as a, uh, a secondary tasting note, it says this matcha has the most elegant, savory, sweet flavor and creamy mouthfeel. And uh, yeah, I would agree with all of those. Uh, it's, it's definitely got both of that savory and sweet thing going on. And as I've commented multiple times, that crema just super, super creamy. All right, but unfortunately not making it into round two, so... I'll see you for our next battle.